Welcome to another episode of the 5-Minute Money Manager. Most of us have definite ideas about what we should or shouldn't do regarding most areas of our lives, including money. Take a moment or two and consider some of the responses you would give to complete the following statement. When it comes to money, I know I should. And now, how would you complete the companion version of the statement? When it comes to money, I know I shouldn't. How did you come up with those conclusions? Where did those thoughts come from? Well, some came from your personal experiences with money. Others developed from the thoughts of everyone you've ever had any kind of direct or indirect contact with, most notably parents, friends, and teachers. However, I suppose more important than how you came to those conclusions are the whys of your conclusions. Why should you? Or why shouldn't you? What will happen if you do or don't do? And I always think it is important to ask, do I follow my own advice? Why or why not? Answering for myself, I can readily say, give me a break. I'm only human. Although true, That response alone isn't much help to my money management. A former politician may have provided a valuable life lesson in this matter. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush told the New York Times that he didn't like broccoli and he wasn't going to eat it anymore. That statement generated a lot of commentary from both lovers and haters of broccoli. And I can just imagine some of the family conversations around the dinner table in the days that followed. But mom, the president doesn't like broccoli. He doesn't have to eat broccoli. Well, when you become president, you won't have to either. Until then, eat. I have to admit that when I was young, I was a broccoli hater. However, my older self has developed a liking for it. Although I wouldn't say I love it. For me, I reached a point in my life when health concerns made me revisit my dislike for broccoli. I was willing to give it another try. An important lesson here is that, over time, our perceptions, values, tastes, and preferences can change. This is why planning is never a one-time event. Our everyday spending, along with our goals and objectives, have to be examined on a regular basis to see if they are still relevant to our lives. From President Bush, I think the most important lesson to be learned is that life is too short to continue spending our limited resources on things we truly hate. In other words, if one has no legal or ethical obligations to eat that dreaded broccoli, then don't eat broccoli or do anything else that isn't providing a worthwhile benefit. It's time for all of us to go on a broccoli hunt and stop doing those things that don't add to our overall well-being and happiness. Thanks for listening and have a great day. 